Alright. Previously until dawn. Do we really still need these? Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! <sighs> Chapter 8. Look at us making progress. Why don't you- oh god, what is that? Use these! And get the hell out of here! Now! He's trying to help. He's totally trying to help. He's totally trying to help. I- I called that too. Shit, man. Like, goddamn, I'm just calling shit left and right. Usually I'm not this accurate with my predictions about shit, but I've been pretty point on point today. Maybe it's because I've been playing the entire thing in one sitting that it's still fresh in my mind. But um, this is making me happy. I've been on point with my predictions. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Okay. So, we just got a glimpse of our monster for the first time. And it was kind of creepy looking. Calgary? Hi, Billy. Every, so many fucking postcards to Billy. A lot of postcards for Billy. Billy's a popular guy. Ouch! You saw that, right? You guys saw that? See that shit? You did you see? Man, I'm gonna have to somehow find a way to remember to like edit in to what I just saw when I make observations like that because I saw that shit and it's creepy as fuck. I really don't want to see that, but I saw it. I can't unsee it, and now I have to edit it in to show you guys what I saw because I don't know if everyone caught it. Come it was on. really, it was really short lived, but uh, that's not cool. That's not cool. I don't appreciate that. I think we still have the torch. This torch is solid. This torch just does not go out. It's really good. But apparently we were either in the Girl Scouts or we dated somebody who was in the Boy Scouts because not everyone would be able to make a torch that just lasts this long forever, so... Apparently. What is that? Is that a head? Is that a manic? Oh, that's a totem. Okay, what's in the totem? White? That's fortune, right? That would be Mike not doing something and being mad about it. I'm pretty content, though, with how we're doing with the totems. I, I guess they're not that hard to find, but, you know, we've definitely found more than half of them at this point. Uh, how about butterfly effect? How are we doing? Ashley was grateful and felt indebted to Chris. And therefore, Josh felt betrayed and antagonized Chris. Why does he look like he has snake eyes there? I mean... I feel like somebody's feelings were bound to get hurt there, man. Like, did you expect me to choose you over my would-be girlfriend? I mean, I, I guess if, there, if he was banking on the good old... Bros before hoes shenanigans, I guess. The, mm, Chris considered violence. Okay. Okay, I guess if I had chosen Josh, then I wouldn't have threatened to hit him? I don't... That, that one doesn't seem that significant. 
Ashley took the scissors, therefore Ashley stabbed the psycho, therefore Ashley got a black eye, and therefore Chris hit Josh. Don't know why that one matters really either. But, whatever. It's, I don't know, it's cool to see these things play out, I guess. Okay. Do I have to do more shit with the minecart? Nope. Um, why am I walking so slow? Can we walk a little bit faster, please? Come on, a little bit faster. A little faster. That'd be great. Alright, maybe not. We are just gonna walk slow. Sh I guess we're trying to be quiet, right? Dude, I, I swear I saw that monster behind the boards, and that is not cool. And they're still squealing. I saw it again. I saw it again. And she is not happy right now. Very nervous looking, actually. Okay, I don't really want to look at her face anymore. Anywho. The monster is in the next room, and I really don't want to go in there. But it looks like that's the only way we can... Okay. okay this is going to be the way. I have a bad feeling about that. Ah! There we go! Shit. There we go! There we go! I saw that coming! What is that? What indeed? Oh god. Oh, what is that? Ew! It's gross! Shit. I don't- I don't fucking know- who left! Okay. What the hell is that thing? It's fucking disgusting looking. My god. So gross. So gross. Hooray for elevators that actually work. Okay, we're not safe yet. We're not safe yet. The music's still playing. The music's still playing. We're not safe yet. We're not safe yet. Hi, maybe we are. The music stopped. Okay. No, that's, a, that's not cute. Oh, okay. We're not safe. We're not safe. Oh, we're... That was a stop. Hello. Oh, God. I hit that. Barely. Oh, my God. That could work. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Stay on, leap off. Oh shit, I don't know. Uh, that was, uh. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. Poor choices were made. Oh god. I almost, I, was, I almost missed that. It's right there, yo! It's right there! I, s I saw it! Go! Oh my god. Fucking Christ. Dude. Oh my god. We we've been in better shape. How that would hurt so much. Did we get bit? Oh, that's great. I think we got bit. She's holding her shoulder, and I saw an ugly ass face on her shoulder. That's. Mm, I don't like this. I don't. That that monster is not okay. It is really disgusting looking. We finally over oh, still Emily. Okay. We finally got our first look at a monster though. It's really disgusting, as expected. Really gross. Really gross. Oh, we made it all the way back. Oh, crap. What now? Let me Hello? in! Let me in! Let her in quick! Shut the door! Oh my god, shut the door! Emma, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody are you murder. Okay? You look totally lying. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster, it's a Wait. monster. Wait. Are you okay? 
Wait, a monster? Ah, uh, okay. Are you okay? We're concerned. I'm fine. I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. I mean, you can relax. Josh was messing with us. You're not listening to me. <laughs> it wasn't Josh. Where's Matt? Where is Matt? What the fuck? Oh, I'm trying to remember where was the last time we saw Matt. Where was the last time we saw Matt? He was on the tower. Yeah, he was in the tower, and then we jumped because we're an asshole. And I thought Emily was dead because of that. But she's not, so that's cool. Wait, Em, and where's Matt? Is he okay? I don't want to talk about that fucking sack of shit. Wow. He left me. He just fucking abandoned me when I was hanging off that goddamn tower about to die. <laughs> tower. And then I, I uh, fell into this terrifying freaking mine shaft, and he was just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what mine shaft? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found oh it. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, it's pretty Jesus fucked up. Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. When we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. <sighs> That's Did absolutely nobody know that there were mines Listen, down in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. barely. <sighs> what about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. What? She's not like loopy. Happen. She's just Josh, frantic right now. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. <laughs> That's flamethrower guy. I'm telling you, I think he's just here to help. He tried to... At the very beginning of the game, actually, he tried to help Beth and Hannah. He tried, but they just... I let go because I was a dumbass. But I think they would have died anyways. And then he just tried to help Emily... I think this whole time, all the flames shit that we've been seeing, he's just been firing at the monsters. Probably because he knows that they're weak to fire or something. Anyways, demand, give me the pistol, suggest I'll cover the door. I'm going to bet that Matt, or what's his name? Mike, it's probably better with the pistol. So, okay. I'll cover the door. I'm going to open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes, cl we clearly. Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, I can still see the guy. The no, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I can <laughs> He's clearly there. He can definitely see what we're doing. Right. And twist. Shit. Uh, shit. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, what the? All right, all right. Just take it easy, what Grandpa. The fuck? Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. Hello, stranger. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You <sighs> Bad never shit. Returned. Bad shit, I don't know no what doubt. You, did after what happened last year. you mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Uh, <laughs> Who is he talking about? The hell's Wendigo. Wendigo. Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I know what a Wendigo I told is, you. and it's not good. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There. Hold up. Before we progress, I just want to throw out there. Well, we're really charitable. I just want to throw out there that a Wendigo, if you don't know what it is, I don't, they're probably going to have to explain it actually, but I'm curious if I can call it before he says it. A Wendigo, I believe, is like a Native American demon spirit thing where it's like a monster that became a monster that, or a monster that was originally a human which became a monster because it resorted to cannibalism or some shit like that. I might be wrong. I don't know how I know that. 
probably some random history class, but I remember the word when to go and why that is because I, I don't know, I ran, I know sh random shit like that sometimes. And that's all I have to say, so let's see if I'm right. Is a curse if they explain it. That dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in oh, these woods, oh, the oh. spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh! I called oh, it! Crap. Called it. That, that's what that was? That was fucking gross as shit. That was a jump scare? I didn't You're see that movement before. Safe. I did not okay. see that. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Yep. Name drop. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Man, what a I'll good go friend. I, I don't need your help. He going alone. Is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. <laughs> Apparently well, I'm going not. going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, this guy. Yeah, I think so. patronizing. You need to follow me and do everything. I tell you. Well, that's a that, that's a cue to fucking know what to do when we're out there. Then I guess that's our hint. If he says to do something, do it, because he's clearly the expert with the fucking flamethrower on his back. That's great. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. You've been watching. Hey, come back safe. Uh huh? We need to hurry, son. I, uh, oh, that's adorable. See you soon. <laughs> so, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Okay. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. Y you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, and it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like, it's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. It's gross. All right. All right. Seems well, logical. What are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well... They adhere to some patterns. Like any animal. Or human. What, you mean, like how? Like they've got Pack schedules? Years. Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. We already got this totem, right? I'm the, pretty uh, sure we were already here. Pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll yeah, still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Is that like a hint for the future in the game? If you have an option to like run or hide? Or I mean, like just not move whatsoever? Just do that, I guess? Probably gonna forget, honestly. I'm probably if gonna forget. And then a moment of panic, just be like, be like run! And then die. Yay! Or, or were human... Do they, they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. 
I mean, is it really right to kill them? Maybe they can be cured, or... <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. You feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and agree with Stranger. Stranger. I'm gonna go ahead and agree with Mr. Stranger here. <laughs> Probably. Well, there's a lodge that Josh got supposedly fucked up in, but we all know that that's not true. We all know how that ended. Okay, well, Josh is gone. Oh, no. Damn it, what happened? What do you think happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then... He strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. Well, ain't that just the launch then? Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Okay, I don't. I don't want to... I want to see if I can find stuff first. I feel like there was something... Yeah, okay. I thought there was a passageway back here. That is a totem? Question mark? I think it's a totem. It's a totem. What color is it? What color is it? Uh. Uh. Okay. That was, I want to say, Ashley. Fuck. Well, that's not good. Can I, hello? Can I move? Hello? Chris? All right. I, that, I think that was Ashley's head. That was not good. Let's not, uh, let's not. Oh, God, that's still gross. Okay, that's, that's, that's. That's Ashley's head. But there's no... That has no context. Like, okay, Ashley can die. Can I prevent it? Yes. Do Is there a hint to prevent it? Nope. <laughs> what the hell? That was that remotely helpful. All I know is that Ashley can die, which is pretty much self-explanatory for all the characters in the game. I'm pretty sure they can all die. Wait, Nobody is safe. Don't move. Be very quiet. What? I didn't do that. I didn't move. Run! I didn't. I didn't move. No, now! Now! Holy I didn't move. Shit! What the fuck? Back! Back! I didn't God move. Damn. I, I didn't move. Right out in the open. We gotta get out of here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. What? Well, what? Oh shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What the fuck? I wasn't ready for that. What was the other thing I could shoot? This is not okay. This is not okay. I did not move. I did not move. I swear I didn't move my controller. I was so still. Oh my god. This is not cool. Really? That? No, come on. Deal with it. Deal with it. Go. Run for your fucking... This is not good. This is not good. Keep going, please. Ash, Ash. Okay, please run. Please. Let me in quick. Hey, hey, that's oh a totem. God. Chris, oh my god, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go. That thing <sighs> is like right behind me. Go, 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 go. That shit was a totem, yo. What the hell? Why are we seeing this? Oh god. Oh, that's Josh. That's not the stranger. That's Well, Josh's head oh isn't god, taking god. off. That's the start. Took you so long. He's probably it's dead. Not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. 
Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, <laughs> Thank yeah, you, Mike. He, uh, he didn't make he's it. Dead. No. What happened? The thing he's dead. It, uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. So, see, that's... Hold up, hold up. Before we continue, I just want to say that the, the dude's been surviving on this mountain for who knows how long, for years. He obviously knows everything there is to know about these Wendigos. And then he just fucking... He just dies? Like, the first time we are finally... That's... Mm, that's some lazy writing there. I don't know who made this game, but that's some lazy writing. I'm not gonna lie. That's some lazy writing. He would have known how to survive that encounter. But he only had to die because now he can't give us any more advice. So, fuck that. But let's get some more uh, progress on... Uh, this. Emily gave the flare gun to Matt, therefore had no defense against the attack and was bitten. So that's... I'm starting to wonder why the game told me to give the flare gun to Matt. Because the guidance totem clearly said to give it to Matt. Matt, go ahead, Matt goes ahead and just fires it straight up in the air. Don't know how that's remotely helpful because no help has come. And then apparently because we gave it to Matt, she had no defense. Like, the fuck? How is this good in any way? What the hell, man? Just, just, okay, whatever. Chris did not shoot Ashley. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. They finally got their first smoochy smooch. And therefore, Ashley opened the door, saving Chris's life. So, ooh. Oh, <laughs> I guess if we had chosen to shoot Ashley, she would have been angry. And then not been concerned for Chris as he left. And then would not have opened the door to save Chris's life? That would have been terrible. That would have been a... I would have been pissed off, after, actually. I would have been actually angry if that had happened. But it didn't, because I made a good choice. So, yay! Emily was bitten. Well, shit. Well, shit. It better not be a zombie scenario. Um, suddenly, <laughs> when it goes to cannibals, right? So, <laughs> all of a sudden, guys, I'm, I'm really, I'm really hungry. I'm really, really hungry. You, Matt, you're looking... You're looking good today, you know? You're looking awfully tasty. What? Did I say tasty? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? <laughs> well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, it did. We're shit out of luck. Well, we're shit out of luck then. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? It did. I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Oh, I thought there was more than one. There was um, no way that that uh, thing kept getting up after shotgun blasts. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna well, get actually, all the hell maybe, out of here. Maybe it did. I was making assumptions. I thought there was more than and one, but I guess there's only one. So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> yeah, apparently Quite. not enough. What is this place? Oh. I'm just, I'm, I'm just kind of, oh, kind of pissed that, that um, I was down there. I, it was horrible. I definitely did not move during that sequence, yeah, but the game thought 50s, I did. I, guess, I was holding it so still. Oh my God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. I'm, I really hope that I didn't get the guy killed. Out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. <sighs> they knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means. But I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What uh -oh. is that? Ash. Um, 
Oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's oh nothing, no, it just, it, oh no, it, it bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? How did she see that? The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really, it's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really, it's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes, it happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. You can't be down here with us. Uh... What? Mike? You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. What? I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. <laughs> not for us. <laughs> Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm not doing this. This is the totem thing! I'm not... No, nope, nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my god. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll so you're going to go out there alone. Okay. Best idea of the day, clearly. All right. What the fuck, man? Now what? Now what? What is she doing? Why is she like... What? Why is she walking like that? I thought the fuck's that, going on? that he was going to help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Oh, God, that's a lot of words. Okay. All right, we'll read it. It's probably important. Only a few men have dared to hunt the OCD. <laughs> what the fuck? Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death shall be, will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. It's like he he wrote this as though someone else was gonna read it. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. One of the human is desperate and craves food. Trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess, possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill with rem without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with them, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. Lovely. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated, and then the change begins. The eyes turn first. What? The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled out across the bones. Stronger than human skin. Awesome. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected There's the mountain. History to this. God damn it. Yes, I'm reading it. Respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain. It would hunt elsewhere. Hence, why I made good decisions in not touching the animals. Hooray! In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. I don't know what that is, actually. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the... 
Spirit was released. All right, so fuck you, miners. Is the so? Oh my god, the when it <laughs> the Wendigo's eyes change. They become sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see this stillness. Says that because the it, Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Where was I? If you were to keep totally still, then the Wendigo would not be able to see you. Awesome. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are th hard like armor. <laughs> they feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Good thing we had a shotgun lying around, huh? Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. That's awesome. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. We already know this. Use a flamethrower, it is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. That's fantastic. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Holy shit, how much more is there? Oh god. <sighs> one... There may be defenses, shamans, road of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them, totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs and I've tested them. Out of the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay, but not entirely. Not enough, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Care. Cree legends say that the Wendigo rose from the bite of another Wendigo. Wait. Oh, but the bite is harmless. I have not been bitten, but I did not change. Or I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way to eat is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Well, there you go. No zombies. Hello? Can I turn the page? No? Is that it? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? <sighs> Why would I conceal that? It says that... The bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Mike almost shot me, is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse please, for Emily, this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Right. I'm so, 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 so sorry. <laughs> Chris is just like, well, shit. Let, let M in. Ah, shh, see shh, what shh. they did there? Because usually it's let it me in. Oh, now. that's great. That that's the only, that's like the that's only the second achievement I've gotten this entire game. What am I? I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. I fucking have only gotten two achievements. Oh, Hello Joshua, again. you should have listened to me. Probably. Because of your choices, people have died. Have they? I don't know. Which oh, I guess so. Worse, actively Just... triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Mm. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. What now is it's happening, all about this you, guy? Josh. It's always all about you. Did we kill our psychiatrist? Your game the therapist? has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? He's pretty good acting, though. He's got a very interesting voice. I know who he is. Like, I've seen him before. Why I just don't... I can't place him. Why did we Joshua, hurt them? why did you hurt them? They hurt me. I didn't hurt anyone. Well, I'm not going to say that. They hurt me. They hurt my feelings. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. 
They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Well, I think they're still sorry. It was just a game. I'm so sorry. I'm repentant. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. Mm, it probably is. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from... Yourself? Depths nope. Of darkness. Oh, that was deep. That was deep.